we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Good morning guys, this is Young and I'm going to catch the sunrise today Oh the good times just begun I'm traveling light today with Mavic Mini So let me hurry up a little bit to catch the sunrise on time Found what we're looking for in So let's get started with flying and today I want to talk about why Mavic Mini is still a great purchase even in the second half of 2020 and I do hope you enjoy the music. The first reason to buy Mavic Mini is because it has a great camera. Every drone footage you see today is at 2.7K, 30 frames per second and everything set at auto. At the sunrise, I did adjust the EV value to minus 0.7, but that was the only alteration. Crazy, but things are finally right. Simply a great camera for Even video. The future is The second reason why I love Mavic Mini is that it is super light. I came to shoot some videos for Samsung Note 20 series and I like traveling light, which interestingly eases up my brain for planning out a video. So Mavic Mini being a light drone makes it a perfect companion. So if the weather is not so windy or in a place that I know will not be so windy and if it's not like the main main drone shots, then I'll take my Mavic Mini with me. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. The third thing that I really like about Mavic Mini is that its functions are rather simple. You know, life is simple, there's no high pull up feature, so I find that two batteries for Mavic Mini is more than enough. The signal is, yeah, not as strong as Mavic Air 2, which has OkiSync. Because of that, the limited distance it can travel, especially in urban area, you really get to shoot the subject at interesting angles. Sometimes with Mavic Air 2, which has longer range, I get a bit carried away by going forward for like more than a kilometer. And then I realized I didn't get enough interesting shots. But because of the enhanced Wi-Fi system within Mavic Mini, I can really think through where I want to fly to get the most interesting shots within the limited distance. The thing that I love about Mavic Mini as well as why I would actually recommend my friends to get Mavic Mini is that it is the cheapest travel drone that DJI offers. At the end of the day, drones don't get used as much as we would like because we need to go to certain places to be able to fly the drone. After all, Mavic Mini does the job and because it films at 2.7K, it doesn't even burden your storage space. And as a final remark, I just want to briefly touch upon the rumors for upcoming DJI drones. The rumors are there might be Mavic 3, but of course that's going to be a lot more expensive than Mavic Mini and sort of a different class of the drone. So it's not a comparable. And there is possible FPV racing drone. Who knows whether that's really going to happen, but that's totally different kind of drone. So it's not going to be a replacement for Mavic Mini I don't think there's gonna be a replacement for Mavic Mini anytime soon. However, on the DJI drone rumors, I'll be coming back with more details. So please do stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and see you!